At nearly the exact moment Madison Bumgarner took the mound in Game 7 of the World Series, a stadium employee snapped this photo at a concession stand. It's pizza dough, and it's four days past its expiration date. Despite that, two food service employees confirmed to outside the lines they were ordered to serve it to fans. We have a food worker here that has the integrity to question the product, and a manager told her, you'll serve it anyway. For John Costa, who snapped that photo, that was the final straw. In 2012, he was hired as a district safety manager for Aramark, which provides food service at the Royals Kauffman Stadium and Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium. I think it says that, hey, we can sell any substandard food that we want. Is that putting the public at risk? Absolutely, because what else are they going to do? How far are they going to go? Five days after the World Series, Costa provided outside the lines with a series of photos documenting his long-standing concerns over the conditions at the two stadiums in Kansas City. The photos contained what he says are food safety violations, including cockroaches in vending areas, mice feces near pizza dough, and several examples of meat destined for customers being held at unsafe temperatures. For someone who doesn't know anything about food safety, why is that a problem? What we say is keep hot foods hot and keep cold foods cold. Between hot and cold is the temperature danger zone where bacteria can grow to hazardous rates. Right there where I have my finger, that's mice feces. At Kauffman Stadium? At Kauffman Stadium. Okay. So this dough in this picture was discarded? Yes. This, this one was discarded. Where were these at? I was finding roaches in this vending room, and so I contacted the Royals who manage our pest control company. And was this the only time you found cockroaches? Uh, this was not the only time that I found cockroaches. Costa also provided photos he says he took during the World Series that show employee hand sinks that were inaccessible. When we lose control over hygienic practices and we also combine that with poor temperature control, that could be a catastrophe. That is a recipe for foodborne illness. Have you ever had an instance of a foodborne illness outbreak? I am not aware of a foodborne illness outbreak in my 20 years plus at Aramark. Um, you know. Mark Bruno is Chief Operating Officer of Aramark Sports and Entertainment, which has food and beverage contracts with 30 professional sports teams. Executives from Aramark, the Royals, and the Chiefs received emails and photos from Costa expressing his concerns before the World Series. When you saw it, did you talk about taking any sort of action? Well, we take immediate action uh, in the event that anybody brings up any type of allegations. Uh, and there's been a long history of a lot of work that's been done uh, with this particular individual who's made these allegations. When we talked to John, he told us that he had been raising these issues and showed us some correspondence that dates back to 2012. Mm -hmm. If he's been bringing these things to upper management since then, and he's saying that there hasn't been action, what do you say? Well, there has been action. I've been baffled by these allegations because it's his job to monitor food safety and that's why we employ that extra level of uh, scrutiny on our operations. Your job is food safety. Why aren't you solving these problems? Why aren't you throwing out the hot dogs? Why haven't you been able to rectify these wrongs? I wish I could change everything and there's instances where I have told people to throw things away and they attempt to salvage these things. But you couldn't force people to make a change? I don't think I had that power and I don't think I had really the support to make anything happen. In fact, Costa says his co-workers, including one seen here on the right, were openly hostile with him while he was taking pictures of violations. So out of frustration, he also sent the photos to his former employer, the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department. It's alarming. It is very alarming. Nasser Jahari is the division manager at the health department who oversees food safety inspections. Within hours of receiving Costa's email, he sent inspectors to check things out. Even though Arrowhead and Kauffman stadiums were empty, Inspectors found 37 critical violations, including mold growth on the inside of ice machines and dirty pans and trays throughout the kitchen. Was that surprising to you that it was so dirty? It was shocking, actually. 
but we never thought that at the stadium that we should go back after the game to check on the cleanliness and to check to make sure that they uh, uh, discarded the food items that are still out there. So it was shocking. I was told after the game they just flipped the switch off and they walked out. And how does that pose a risk to public health? Um, insects. Insects and rodents. All this food, all this exposed food, it's an open invitation to all insects and rodents in the area. So if John sent this video a few weeks ago and corrective action was taken, why did the health department find 37 critical violations when they showed up the other day? Well, you know, it's interesting. We, we have an individual who's surfaced allegations um, and our, all of our folks at Aramark have spent a lot of time with this individual to make sure any issue that he is bringing forward has been addressed. There are a number of processes that ensure that our facilities are top-notch, that the food is safe, um, and that fans in any of our locations can go to a game and have a great time and know that their food is high quality and very safe. Health department officials vow to follow up on Aramark's promise to improve, but the Kansas City stadiums will have to do that without their food safety manager for now. Because John Costa sent his photos to the media, Aramark put him on paid administrative leave. We have to be able to protect the public. Many people who get a foodborne illness, they can get over it. Yeah, they're sick. They may have diarrhea, they have stomach cramps, but what about the high-risk populations that we serve every game? The young, the old, the pregnant, and the immune compromised. One of those people get a bug and it could be fatal. 